Well, there's some good news. The pandemic's over. A lot of people, well, of course, in Florida and Texas, it's been over for three years. But, uh, <laughs> said we were going to shelter in place and that scared the hell out of me because I didn't know what that meant and I got real apocalyptic at first like the world's going to end so I grew a garden that's what you do during an apocalypse you grow I don't eat vegetables but I grew a garden <laughs> I got some chickens because chickens make breakfast um, and if they don't they can beat breakfast <laughs> and I started hoarding ammunition because during an apocalypse you can trade for things with ammunition and sex and uh, I was going to make it, people, you know what I mean? From <laughs> hell or high water, I was going to make it. So when they said we were going to shelter in place, I thought, that sounds like fun. I'd spend four or five days with the family, and we'll shelter in place. And uh, I didn't know that was going to be nine and a half or eleven weeks, whatever it was. But uh, my hobby is barbecue. I'm a third generation pit master, and I love uh, smoking meats. And uh, well, it sounds gay when I say it out loud, doesn't it? <laughs> So I figured that during the shelter in place that I would just barbecue for my family and friends for a couple days and that would be fun. And I did all the staples, brisket, sausage, turkey, all that stuff, you know, chicken. And then uh, this went on for several weeks and I started to gain weight, more weight than I have now. And uh, I got bigger and fatter and my knees started to hurt and I called a friend and he suggested that I try CBD oil. And I was like, oh, you mean diet dope? <laughs> He's like, yeah, dope like, whatever. Go uh, get you some CBD oil. Now look, I am not going to go to a vape shop, okay? I'm not going to go to some place where the manager shows up on a skateboard, you know? I, he's got holes in his ear big enough for a penis. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I want to go to a respectable facility where the men and women who work there have a damn lab coat on who can give me the appropriate dosage that I need for my body. So the doctor, Dr. Feelgood, that's what I call him, gave, uh, gave me the Delta 8, uh, which is the most legal thing we can get in Texas, and he said, uh, he said, put one dropper full onto your tongue, and that's all you need to do. Well, at the time, I was 460 pounds, so I thought, shit, I need to double up, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I put two dropper fools under my tongue, then I put two dropper fools on my taint. <laughs> Very high rate of absorbency, if you understand. So my assumption was, if I douse it down south, medicate up top, it'll all meet in the middle. <laughs> I'll fix it when I die. So, I start to uh, overdose on the diet dope, of course. And one thing they don't tell you about CBD oil is they give it to cancer patients because it's an appetite enhancer. <laughs> so now I've got the munchies off the diet dope. So my barbecue goes to a whole new level. And I'm getting like creative. I start making pork belly burn ins on a regular basis. And if you don't know what that is, get a pen and paper up because I'm going to tell you. It's a slab of bacon that's not sliced, it's cubed into one inch cubes. You put it on the smoker at 225 yeah. for about two and a half hours. Take it off, put it in a pan. In that pan, you put one jar of honey one jar of your favorite barbecue sauce, and then a Dr. Pepper, because diabetes fucking rocks. <laughs> then you take that pan, put it back in the smoker for three more hours, and it caramelizes and becomes pig candy. And I fed this shit to my family for several nights. <laughs> my kids were so tired of barbecue, my son was like, Dad, no, no more, no more barbecue. My, my heart hurts. <laughs> Don't be a sissy and eat your breakfast, okay? So, do what's right. I'm a good father. So I start to find things to do with barbecue. Like, I, I looked in the pantry, and on the floor of the pantry, I found two rogue potatoes. You know, you ever see that? We're bagged potatoes. All of a sudden, there's, there's two out of nowhere. One of them's got sprouts and shit on it, right? So 
I got, I, I, of course, I'm high uh, off of CBD oil, and I go out on the back deck, and I start to core out those potatoes. I start emptying the potatoes out, and my wife and kids come home, and the kids are looking through the window. I'm in the back deck, and they're like, what's dad doing? And my wife's like, I, I don't know. Stay away from him. <laughs> he doesn't have pants on. And, uh, in the back deck, just doing this with this potato. <laughs> So I take the potatoes, I fill them full of pork belly burn ends, cheese, and then I wrap them in bacon. I call them the bacon bone. Right? The family's loving it, everything's great. Then we go to the grocery store. This is during the height of the pandemic, like April, maybe May, going into May, when people were still wearing like spacesuits and shit as they were going to the grocery store. And I go in, and I've been drinking for the last three weeks, my dad, at this point. I was drunk all the time. And I was just, oh, what the weirdest shit, man. You're drunk too? Good for you. Good. Good. So, now I'm high and drunk, fat and dumb. I walk in the grocery store, and you, and by the way, I'm, I'm, I'm decked out. I have one flip-flop on, uh, and shorts. I got a shirt that says pink on it that belonged to my 12-year-old daughter, so it was like a halter top on me. And my titty fell out of my left armhole. And, uh, so I walk in there, and you people bought everything. There was nothing left in the grocery store. Uh, I, walk, I even went to the produce section. There was hardly anything there. There was one table that had two pineapples on it. And my kids said that I was so high and drunk and stupid that I sat there for about four minutes and stared at the pineapples and then audibly said out loud, y'all fucked, and grabbed the pineapples. <laughs> Took them home. Guess what? Poured them out, emptied them out, packed them full of pork belly burners, <laughs> cheese, wrapped them in bacon. I called them a swine apple. <laughs> Put those on the smoker, so shit's going like here, and um, I, my, I'm getting worse, my knee's getting bad, I call my buddy, uh, I talk to him about something else, I go, man, I'm not getting pain relief, he goes, what are you doing, stop taking CBD, he goes, nah, you gotta get the real stuff, I was like, you mean pot, he goes, yeah, so he was like, you're gonna have to go, I gotta go to Oklahoma, because they had it's legal there. Well, you have to remember, Florida, you guys probably don't understand this, but Oklahoma to Texas is like Canada to the U.S. of A. We don't know they're there. <laughs> could not give a shit. It could burn down tomorrow. It'd be all cool, whatever, right? Here's the best metaphor. Oklahoma was like that ugly girl in high school that nobody paid any attention to. But then one day, that ugly girl got a boob job <laughs> called medical marijuana. <laughs> then all of a sudden, Texas and the rest of the states were like, hey, what's up, Oklahoma? <laughs> I'm about to slide in your DMs. <laughs> So I did it, I crossed the border, I went to the Great Red North, I got myself uh, some uh, marijuana. I didn't get the, uh, I'm not gonna smoke it, look at me, I like to eat shit. So, <laughs> I got some gummies, and I'm not good with numbers, I've made that very clear so far, right? I'm not really good with numbers. And uh, I had seven of them. Um, oh, system shut down, kids. <laughs> My head went, boom, gone. And I should have taken a clue from the package they were in, because I had a raccoon riding a rocket to a mushroom land. And I was like, okay, that checks out. And so now I'm, I'm, I'm high, and this is what, and let me fast forward to this part. Because this is what caused the intervention in my family, okay? This is, my, this is a true story, by the way. This is when my wife and kids sat me down and said, we've had enough of this shit. Right? You gotta stop barbecuing, you gotta stop eating your pot, and, and let's get things right. And here's what happened. I was told to stop barbecuing. I've got a 500 gallon uh, trailer smoker out back, along with some other, uh, uh, you know, I've got like a big green egg and things like that. You know, but the trailer smokers were where daddy spends his time. So I go out there, and I'm told I'm not supposed to be barbecuing anything. So I wait till my wife would leave or go on her little, you know, escapades to work or whatever, and then I get out in the backyard and I start cooking shit. And, uh, Here's how she described it. She said, 
I was coming home, and from two blocks away, I could see smoke billowing out of the backyard. <laughs> like you just crowned a new pope or some shit, you know? <laughs> And she caught me red-handed in the backyard. She caught me at the smoker. I mean, I literally shut it. And she's like, what are you doing? I was like, nothing. <laughs> she said, what are you cooking? I was like, wood. <laughs> I'm just heating it up. She goes, what's on the smoker? I was like, nothing. She says, where are your pants? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> she made me open it, and here's what was on the smoker. I was cooking bacon, rack, smoked, Oreos. <laughs> yeah, I took a cookie, a cookie that's perfectly fine by itself, and thought, that shit needs pork. 